to my channel my name is Amanda I'm a new youtuber and what I do is vlogs uh, I do sit downs and talk with people and I do hauls and yeah you know so today we're gonna be talking about hair um, I know people are very curious about hair especially if you never even bought yourself hair before so this is what I'm here for and I'm gonna show you the qualities of what you need to look for when you buy hair and even if you're trying to do a hair business this is also for hair business your first time getting like a wig tracks bundles all of the above this will this chant this uh video is going to cover all of that so if you like what you see please like comment and subscribe and follow my media down below and also follow me on my channel and instagram and yeah y'all let's get into it so one of the first things i am going to talk about is what do you want your hair to be like i need you like to sit down and actually like maybe get a notebook or your phone notes i even got my notes right here for this video for today and like actually sit down and what would you want your hair to be do you want it to be soft um do you want to like dye your hair do you want to see if your um hair can take color do you want it long do you want it short a bob cut in a different way or whatever the case may be that's what you need to think about when you're like buying hair or even if you're having a business okay what do I want my hair to be like you know what I mean and just sit down take notes about it and stuff because you don't want to give nobody no hair and it's like cheap like dollar store type cheap and I know y'all be seeing where the dollar store and dollar general are actually like having hair in there now and it's not good quality hair at all i don't care what nobody say it is what it is you don't want to give that body no type of hair especially when they pay a good bit of their coin to actually get your hair so i before anything i would definitely recommend like sitting out samples of the hair if anything so like that's what i would do if i have a hair business now if you're buying your hair maybe you know your 16th birthday coming up and you want to actually buy you know buy your hair get a quick weave or something like that um try like i said sit down and um try to figure out what you want your hair to be like and go hunt for it and i would say like me personally at the hair store like they do got good hair but the good hair is hella expensive you see what i'm trying to say and don't get me wrong i mean sometimes if you want that look you're gonna have to pay the price for it but i mean i know there, there's like websites and vendors out here that can actually have good hair but you know get it for like a good price so that's what i want to get into but actually sit down and figure out what you want your hair to be like that is like the main goal before anything sit down and figure out what your hair what you want it to be your price range for the hair now what I mean by that is how much are you willing to pay for the hair like like I said if you're 16th birthday how much are you willing to pay to like get your hair get the hair make sure it's good quality hair don't get me wrong no matter what you do in this you is gonna have to spend your own coin because it's just like you can't look at a screen and see like okay that's some good hair because all hair look good on a picture all hair look good on the picture so it's just like you would have to actually see the hair in person if you can and make sure it's a good quality hair it don't shed it don't have no split ends it's not crusty it don't have like plastic in it because some some vendors and stuff do have plastic in their actual hair so it's just like you would either have to be there to see it or you might have to spend a little bit of your coin to have it shipped to you in order to look at this hair and like you know what i'm saying if the hair don't fit to how you want it to like you said could you make your list to figure out like what hair do you want your hair to be and if it don't fit your criteria you need to re um, return the hair make sure you get your money back for it and everything but i will say you just can't look at the screen and be like okay that's some good hair because they all look good and so the price range thing make sure it just it fits in your budget um and just yeah make sure it fits in your budget and yeah that's the only thing i can say does the hair last me personally if i buy a wig 
bundles or anything like that for a wig i want to at least let it last for like a year or two i mean it's a wig come on now it's a wig so it's just like i want my wigs to last not for a couple of months because i don't want to you know let's say like hey i can't get my hair done for this certain event or whatever but i can throw on this wig and the wig you know the wig was on good for a couple of months so if you're in you know looking for a wig to put on and stuff if you're a new beginner in the wig sounds crazy but i'm also kind of new in the wig field as well but you will for what i know from experience for a little experience that i got you will want a wig that will last you for like a year or two you don't want the wig like you wear it for like a month or two or however long you wear it and it's like beat up and it's like you can't even put it back on because it don't look good how you first got it makes sense so see how long does the hair last now if you're getting bundles um i mean i don't i i, I mean reusing bundles I, I don't know i guess for bundles let it be good for like two three weeks i guess like i said i'm not i don't like get quick weaves and stuff like that honestly i only had a quick weave like maybe twice so it's just i'm not really new in that field i'm new in that field but it's just like if long the hair is good if the quality is there for the hair i'm pretty sure you can maybe reuse it again i mean if that's what you do i mean hey but yeah okay next one can the hair take color my thing is okay let's say you're wanting to dye your hair blonde red blue whatever the case may be because i know us girls we be seeing people on tiktok dyeing the hair um you know bleaching it the knots and everything and it comes out so good and like don't get me wrong you know because it is going to come out good but my question is can the hair take the color you know what i mean because you don't want it to be like it look good and, and stuff next thing you know the um the colors fading out the hair is falling out the um what should we call it? actually out the wig and you know what i mean we're, we're just not here for that and then for like bundles the hair is falling up we we don't need that we do not need that so make sure that your hair can take color like yeah you can color it It'll probably look good give it like a couple like make sure and honestly you before if you can like talk to the vendor if you're buying online ask them questions like that can the hair take color really well um you know can it take heat very well you know because i know y'all be seeing like on tiktoks and stuff when people actually flat iron like their weave and whatever and then start to burn that's that cheap hair and we don't want that we don't want you to get bamboozled we don't want you to get um you know scammed because it sounds crazy a lot of these foreigners they'll come you know try to this is good hair you know what i'm saying and it's just like you have to look at that hair no matter if they send you pictures you actually got a feel for that hair touch it all that and if you feel like there ain't no good hair honey you better go with your good because that's just not good hair i'm just saying me being honest i don't want nobody else. especially like if you work up to get this money i mean yeah you know work up to get that money and it's just like it can't even take a hot comb no we're not doing that so please 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 make sure the hair is good on any angle heat color wash all that you know what i mean so yeah i'll be like the smell of the hair so i have have experience where i have bought hair and it kind of smelled but like it's not that bad maybe like a one good wash and i'm like okay it's good but if you're getting hair or a wig bundles traps wherever you want to call it and they smell like fish corn chips that's that's an automatic like no like I have never bought no bundles or hair or anything like that that smells like fish. Maybe a little bit of a little tiny bit of a corn chip smell, but not like fish. That is, that's automatic out. Like, ew. Why would you, it's something that smells that bad, smell like fish. Why would you even want to put that in your hair? You know what I mean? It's just, ew. We, mm -mm, we ain't doing that. So make sure and see the hair got a smell to it because... We just, uh-uh. And to tell if hair is um, real or not, if you, like, get a 
piece of a strand of a hair and light it and if it turns into ashes like ashes and stuff that's actual real human hair now if it starts to like burn like it's like a bonfire it's probably like synthetic um they put them chemicals silicone whatever the case may be that's how you can tell like human hair and you know fake hair and all that so yeah my your quality of the hair is this the next one so my thing is like you know how you want your hair to be there's no question about it so it's just like if you know deep down your heart if somebody's trying to like bribe you to buy this hair and like you're picking the hair and you feel it's just not right you know it's just not right now don't get me wrong some people do trust the process or whatever they mean but if you know like it has to smell it's shedding at the ends um the color pattern ain't looking right. There's two different patterns in the hair. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Your gut is telling you not to get that or else it's just a quick money grab and then you're not gonna get your money back. Cause, well, if you're in a hair store, cause a lot of hair stores, once you leave with that hair, you cannot bring it back. Mm -mm. Not where I'm from, you cannot bring it back at all. Like no matter what, you cannot bring it back. The minute you leave the store with that hair, you cannot bring it back. So it's just like, make sure why you're there. Cause it's just like, these, these, these wigs and these bundles, these tracks, they, they're not cheap. So it's just like, you, you need to make sure, a hundred percent sure. You're, you gotta make sure that you're actually happy with your purchase. So it's just, yeah, it's shedding. Um, you gotta make sure like the hair doesn't shed a lot. Like you actually gotta like run your hands through it make sure that it sheds or if it doesn't shed whatever the case may be and don't get me wrong hair is going to shed regardless but you don't want it to shed too much you know what i mean like everywhere you walk there's hair everywhere like we don't need that we just we do not need that so if it has too much shedding that is a red flag like the hair should not shed that much at all like at all so just look out for that when you're looking at hair too the shed hair now when you wash your bundle when you wash your wig make sure you're getting there really good and if you see it's where it's like brown dye or black dye coming off of the hair the vendors or wherever it like dyed the hair but my thing is you gotta think about why did y'all dye the hair you know what i'm saying so it's just like <sighs> I guess like keep washing make sure you got all that dye out make sure it's like it's good and everything but I'm not gonna say that is a red flag it is kind of like a red flag to the people but it's just like you know just just make sure you wash all the dye out all the dye so you know it can not have a smell you know what I mean just make sure like the hair is clean make sure that the hair is clean look at reviews of the hair now if you're buying hair um i don't know like amazon aliexpress make sure you look at the reviews because you might not know it but the reviews could help you save your coin too because my thing is the hair like i said the hair could look really good on pictures and stuff but then you look at the reviews and the reviews are terrible and if you don't look at reviews you're going to buy the hair if you're going off of the picture so it's just like you got to look at the reviews you got to look at the reviews so it's just like you know save your coin and it's just like don't get me wrong because there is a lot of vendors and stuff out there that you know they'll try to like like let's say like i got some bad hair and i try to bring it back to the vendor and the vendor and i contact the vendor i'm telling them like the hair is terrible it sheds it doesn't color well it's a take heat some vendors are really sneaky to the point where just like okay put in a good review that the hair is good and i'll give back your money like what i sounds crazy i have like heard of stories like that like vendors will seriously do that like they will literally like make try to like the person that buy the hair put in a good review before they get their money back it's crazy y'all it's crazy so it's just like kind of just watch out for like red flags in that area but if it the the good reviews and the bad reviews shouldn't be close together if that makes sense like is this hair got like 500 500 likes but then like the the um the bad not 500 like but like 
500 good reviews and then like it has like 300 bad reviews or something like that i would not recommend buying that hair because it's just it's too close together you know what i mean so do the math yourself but reviews will save your coins okay the reviews will save your coins but yeah so this is all for the video um if you like what you see please like comment and subscribe i will do videos like this like i said i do vlogs i do sit downs and talk with you guys and uh, i do hauls at wells and product reviews sometimes you know sometimes so yeah so please 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 follow me i'm trying to get 100 subscribers by the end of this year and I can't do that without you guys help. So please, please, please subscribe and share this with your friends, especially if the ones that's like um, having like a hair business or anything that involves hair or doing hair in general and you want to provide hair. So it's just like, yeah, you know, follow me and share the video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.